Hey there, Lions. Welcome to another segment of Mathematicians Talk Mathematicians with your host, Mr. Alvarado. You might be asking yourself, hey, it takes a mathematician to talk mathematicians. And in case you guys didn't know, I too am a mathematician. I'm actually an applied mathematician from Cal State Fullerton. Here is a very rare picture of me in my younger days. Boom, with a head full of hair and no beard. Um, I actually worked a lot in MRIs or medical imaging, that is taking biology, taking mathematics and computer science, putting them together and creating something amazing. I also worked in missile development for the military, uh, which again, a lot of mathematics, a lot of computer science. But we're not here to talk about me. I only bring this up to give you guys a little bit of context as to why I chose the next two mathematicians. So first mathematician we're going to talk about today is Dr. Fern Hunt, born in 1948 and still delivering amazing lectures. She too is an applied mathematician. She got her PhD from NYU, one of the top five universities for mathematics. Her focus was on biomathematics. Again, very similar, taking biology, taking mathematics, making something amazing. Some really cool stuff going on in, in biomathematics right now is using 3D printers with something called BioInk to create um, like noses or ears for people who have lost them and then they attach them and it actually fits and it actually functions. So BioInk and mathematics, amazing, huh? She also did a lot of work in patterns and genetic variation. So for you X-Men fans out there looking at those patterns and genetics, uh, which links very closely to chaos theory, which is finding patterns or everything in life has a pattern. It's just a matter of finding that pattern. Uh, she continues to be an advocate for women and students of color to pursue graduate degrees in mathematics and other STEM fields. So we definitely need more women in mathematics and in computer science. There's a growing field. All you young ladies out there, computer science is the future. Um, that is Dr. Hunt. My next mathematician is Dr. David Blackwell, born in 1948 and sadly passed away in 2010. He is a statistician from, uh, received his PhD from UC Illinois. Interesting story about Dr. Blackwell. He actually went to school uh, to study, to be an elementary math teacher. He got the math bug or the love of math in high school uh, and ended up graduating at the age of 16. He then pursued his studies at the UC of Illinois. First, originally, like I said, to be a math teacher but dug deeper and deeper into numbers and fell in love with them. So he received his PhD from the University of Illinois in statistics. That's why he's a statistician, which is a mathematician, right? Why I chose Dr. Blackwell? Uh, Dr. Blackwell has broken many firsts. He is a leader in mathematics. Um, so just to put things in perspective, he's the seventh African-American to ever receive a PhD. Uh, he is also the first African-American inducted into the national Academy of Science and the first black tenured faculty member at UC Berkeley. UC Berkeley again, top five math schools. Uh, he has left a legacy at UC Berkeley. They actually named a hall after him, an undergraduate hall called Dr. Uh, David Blackwell Hall. More information on that, hit up Mr. Limon. He is an alumni from UC Berkeley. Uh, he has major contributions to game theory, information theory, and Bayes Bayesian statistics. Again, using a lot of numbers to identify trends and to make predictions. Um, Dr. Blackwell, y'all. So, to wrap things up in this segment of Mathematicians Talk Mathematicians, uh, I am your host, Mr. Alvarado, and it's been a pleasure talking math with y'all.